All right, ladies. So, custom modding just got out their, uh, what the heck do you call it? Their case combine here, whatever, the 250 or I think that's what they're calling it on the mod name. Release for PC here, shortly to come through on the in-game mod hub. Crazy long list. So, we're going to take a quick look at it. And right now we're on the 7250. There's three different sizes because there's so many different options you guys can get for it. I've been following up with uh, their posts that they got on Facebook like many of us have. And just to look through a few things quick, quite a few tire options. Click through this stuff real quick to see the difference. Mainly the width and radius. I think those are the same. The Michelins don't look bad. This is the ones that should get wider. Oh, got some good tracks on it. Ooh. Those are up there a ways. Smart tracks. Alright. And I'm sure they got a lot of the same wheel options all the way through them. Ooh. Rice tires. Oh boy. Did they put duels on them? Ah, uh -huh. and here are the LSW floater tires. Oh boy, those look good. Yep, I know which ones I'm keeping. Right there, those look awesome. And then axle length is the rear. So let me go back around here. Widen those babies out. And obviously your GPS, whatnot. Put it right on the cab. And rear hitch. Ooh, they even had dealer decals. Where'd that one go? Alright, right there can't zoom in too far in the store to see it all I'll leave it on and now the fun part your grain extensions the foldables Demco's all right so my biggest question is can we fold that or not? So I'll get this one. And then the back choppers or spreaders. That looks like the in-game ones. <coughs> Obviously, you get the oversized signs. Being from the U.S., I don't do that. Then let's look into the pipe. So it was the long one on it originally when we came right into the store. I don't know. Is it just the angle I'm looking at it, or is that boot awfully big? I'm going to keep it the short one for right now. Obviously, your numbers and GPS that we don't need to worry about. Room color, everybody knows about that. So, I'm going to lease it. Now, what is the biggest difference? I think it's just the horsepower, ain't it? That they didn't make it into the motor option. All well, right, here has a huge crank tank on it. So we'll skip over the 8250. Should be pretty close to the 7250. Obviously, same tires, axle widths. We'll make that four wheel drive. All that stuff is still there. Now, grain extensions, because this one was stating it's got a bigger one, and there it is. Alright. Oh boy. We're up to 24,667 liters, and should have all the same pipe 
extensions? No, this one's got a bigger one. So this is your nice big 50 foot draper head. That's a long freaking pipe. Unload auger, whatever you want to call it. Holy crap. I'll have to look at that one. Alright, lease this. And then also, I'm going to pull two corn heads quick. Where's my big ones? I want one big one, and where's the little one? Alright, I am on my save here. I gotta buy that field at... I forgot to... No, I already got it. Really? Interesting. Didn't know that. Something's messed up here. But anyways... Here is the 7250 with the LSWs. Oh, come on now. Tight fit. A lot of detail. All the way around. And there's that dealer sticker. That I was talking about. Nice warning stickers. The lights. The detail. That's huge. I mean, even... Just look at that. The bolts. Wow. They did a great job on this. Jump in it. The biggest thing I wanted to see is can we fold the grain tank? And I know with course play and everything on there, I have issues with seeing all my controls. But no, you can't. So this grain tank does not fold. You need a pretty big shed to put that one in. Then obviously the other one's not going to fold also. So with that being said, you need a tall tank or er, tall shed to put it in. Look at the in view or in cab view. The details are here also. Holy crap. I might be upgrading, boys. And then, where's my small corn head? Where'd the big corn head go? This is the big corn head. Oh! We're gonna roll with it. Nothing else to do but keep going. So, pretty sure it states the ladder out that is unfolded should be able to no. alright gotta unfold the corn head no alright there it is so I'm just gonna make a few passes with it and see how I like it And I know the working uh, speed and everything is based off the header that it's on it anyways. Turn off the dang map. <laughs> feel like the grain tank fill volume goes up quick. And I don't like how Giant says that stretching like no other. I almost feel like it would look better in 19. Can't even drive straight. Can't see where I'm going with a narrow corn head like this and the animations on it. So I should have put GPS, but I didn't. I don't know. Doesn't look bad. I mean, I can't say anything bad about it. It looks long. Uh, pipe looks long enough. Let's 
see how the turning radius is on this one, especially with the wide axle. Not bad. I mean, we all know what they do, but yeah, first look, nice hookups, pretty sure they tested it pretty well, and yeah, I'd definitely say that is long enough, so my biggest thing is, let's get in here, buy a tractor real quick, and a wagon, I'll go with this one, alright, buy that, no, we want to lease that, otherwise I'll run out of money. Obviously, we need a good uh, wagon. Where'd it go? Okay, got way too many wagons in here. But we'll do a Demco. Just give her a real uh, quick test here. I want to see the unload speed on this combine in particular. I'm sure it's pretty realistic. Oh, which button was that? Come on now, Giants. At least make it go 25. Wrong button. Oh wow, it's one of those days. Anyways, should be unloading any second here? Or is that a... Uh... Oh, there it started. Don't know what my issue is. Oh, that is interesting. I wonder whose fault that is on Giants or custom moddings. But I mean it unloads pretty quick. Pretty good. It might actually be the way that other way gets sitting in the tractor it's on. Because we look here what triggers go with me. So that big box to the left should be the unload trigger. Hmm. Alright, so that is my first look here guys. Um, let's see if I can't grab another corn head here because I'm too lazy to unhook this one and go grab the other one. Oh, wrong way. So, uh, I'm going to see if I can't get this one full off of this field here real quick. Look at the fill planes in there. Maybe not. The video's already pointing towards the high side. All right, unfold. Oh, come on.
which one's freaking out. Oh, this is interesting. All right, it's unfolded. Okay, I just didn't wait long enough for it. Yeah, I mean, this is dang near the same combine, just more power. And they were stating on Facebook that there are subtle changes, but couldn't manage to get every change to work. And my guess would be, my guess would be the changes are on the back implement side, or the side of it. But, let's take a look at this long pipe. I mean, we're going to have no issues with fitting a nice big draper on it. Ah, let's burn right over there. Uh, once I get across the field here, like this. Ooh, yeah. Tire tracks and everything match up. Match up pretty good, too. Alright, so now what I wanted to look at was the fill volume. And. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, there it is. And yes, sir, they did do her up nice. Gets way up there. So every single one of them. Only thing we're missing now is cap corn. Yeah, I like it. So, I'm going to say their unload triggers are a little bit off. I will have to look into that. But, here's my first look video at custom modding's case combines. Thanks for watching, and hope you guys go to Facebook, Custom Modding, or Custom Modding Group, and run with these. They're very nice machines, and keep it up, Custom Modding.